fake information or false theories again and again. Your brain gets used to it and accepts it as truth and it wouldn't be able to think otherwise. And this is what system is doing with you. That means that a part of the reality that you are experiencing is built up with lies. And as a result, most of the people get those lies or false information as the absolute truth and build up their lives upon them. Today the most focused issues in science are the Darwinian evolution theory and the discoveries in the field of cosmology. With the Darwin's theory of evolution, they indoctrinate you to believe that everything is evolving in billions of years from one species to another by natural selection through some random consecutive coincidences. And therefore, human being is also a result of this process. The priest went on saying that he, the plan of Satan uh, to um, deceive the human family this way, he says is the most intriguing thing to his mind. And he went on saying how it was going to be brought about. He said that <clears throat> a fellow by the name of uh, Darwin and uh, another fellow by the name of uh, Thomas Henry Huxley would be used by the spirits because in their childhood they had been hypnotized by medical doctors and they figured that, that they would be real good subjects uh, to uh, lead the people into this belief um, that they had and, uh, that Satan wanted to bring into people's lives because after the great general council it was decided that Satan would tutor Charles Darwin personally in setting up the, uh, uh, the principles of his theories of evolution. He was tutored by Lucifer himself, the fallen Lucifer. Mm -hmm. And at that time, it was understood, Satan and his uh, spirit counselors understood that if a person was led to believe in the theory of evolution, it would in his life destroyed completely the, the, the uh, creation week of the Bible, the fall of man and the plan of redemption. It would go away with it. In one fell swoop. Yeah. Now, he made a, a unique statement. He said that according to the spirits, anyone that teaches a theory of evolution is considered to be a minister of a great religious system. See, they call it the religious system the theory of evolution <laughs> because it is a, a system of schooling people and getting them to disqualify themselves from being members of Christ's kingdom and he said that every teacher of that theory is recognized by the spirits as a person of great value and receives a very special unction from Satan himself giving great power to induce spiritual blindness to convince and convert three capacities are given to those teachers of the theory then that's not all the priest says that Satan considers the teachers of the theory of evolution to be so valuable to him that in the sight of all the inhabitants of the galaxies he assigns a retinue of bright beautiful angels to follow that that uh, educator all the remainder of his life and on the other side there are cosmologists from NASA who claim about some discoveries. For instance, the discovery of planets that resemble Earth, like Kepler-22b or Gliese 581g. With this, they want to convince you that there are other habitable planets in the universe. 
and then they suggest that the extraterrestrial beings exist and planets like these can be their home. And it's strange that the concept of alien consciousness is one of the most focused issues in science today. It is indeed from the matters of the unseen, and the knowledge is only with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but there are verses in the Quran that might possibly suggest that there are other creatures in other parts of the universe, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and he has created things that you do not know. And in another verse he says, and of his signs is the creation of the heavens and earth, and what he has dispersed throughout them of creatures. So according to these and some other verses in the Quran, we do not reject the possibility that there exist other life forms in other parts of this universe. But what these scientists are telling you is fake and is following a big agenda. They want to make you believe that it was always the aliens who were communicating with prophets and there is no such thing as angels or God. The project is literally the secularization of the world. To completely strip the world from religious beliefs. We know the kind of event that it must have been. We know the sort of event that, that must have happened for the origin of life. What was that? It was the origin of the first self-replicating molecule. Right, how did that happen? I told you, we don't know. So you have no idea how it started? No, 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 no nor has anybody. Nor has anyone nor has else. What do you think is the possibility that there, that intelligent design might turn out to be uh, the answer to some issues in uh, genetics or in, well, in evolution? It could come about in the following way. It could be that uh, at some earlier time, somewhere in the universe, a civilization e evolved by probably some kind of Darwinian means to a very, very high level of technology and designed a form of life that they seeded onto perhaps this, this planet. Um, now, th that is a possibility and an intriguing possibility. Mm. And I suppose it's possible that you might find evidence for that if you look at the, um, at the detail, details of biochemistry, molecular biology, you might find a signature of some sort of designer. There's an old joke about, you know, the scientist who is giving the talk about creation. And there's an old lady, old, old lady who stands up in the audience afterwards, you know, and she says, oh, you know, really, you're so ignorant. You're so ignorant. Don't you know that this entire world is balanced on the back of a giant turtle? And the scientist says, oh, ha, ha, you know, well, um, tell me, you know, and tell me, uh, what is the turtle standing on? And the old lady just looks at him and says, you are so stupid. You're so stupid. It's turtles all the way down. Now everybody laughs. What an ignorant old lady. It's turtles all the way down. How silly. Okay, fast forward to modern day, 
okay? You have a scientist standing up on stage and he's talking about the Big Bang as the origin of the universe and evolution through natural selection as the explanation for the diversity of life as we know it today. Ask him where the life came from. You know what their answer is now? The most common answer that they're giving now? It came from outer space. <laughs>